There is a hymn that we sometimes sing entitled, We Will Glorify the King of Kings. And the lyrics of this song begin in this way, We will glorify the King of Kings. We will glorify the Lamb. We will glorify the Lord of Lords, who is the Great I Am. The sentiment of this song is quite appropriate, that God is truly deserving of our praise. As the scriptures say, you are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. Revelation 4 and verse 11. And our Savior, Jesus Christ, is likewise deserving as we read a little further. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing, Revelation 5 and verse 12. Each individual who truly believes in God as their creator and in Jesus as their savior should do all that they can to glorify them. Nor should this glory be limited to a few trite platitudes uttered upon occasion. The psalmist expressed it this way, My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day, Psalm 71 and verse 8. And elsewhere, whate'er you do, do all to the glory of God, 1 Corinthians 10 and verse 31. But is this what we're doing? Are we truly glorifying God as we should? For most in the world, the answer must be no. Life is not lived to the glory of God, but to the glory of someone else. All too many live so as to bring glory to themselves. When they boast, they boast about their deeds, their wisdom, their ideas, their riches, their property, their accomplishments. They do not have the attitude of the one who wrote, but God forbid that I should boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. Galatians 6 and verse 14. Many others live for the glory of some institution or association, such as their family or their country. Consider those who may not brag about themselves all that often, but they are more than happy to tell you all the wonderful things about their children, grandchildren, or some other relatives has done. Or consider the politician, the soldier, or the, the, the nationalist who is all too happy to tell you why their country is the best on earth and are eager to fight and sweat and work to make it even better. But are we glorifying God? Are we glorifying God or are we living for another? Again, listen to the words of the scripture. Whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. Therein is the expectation of God for his people. He is our creator, the mighty king, the great I am. And if we consider ourselves the people of his pasture, then he alone is worthy to receive the glory, honor, and blessing that is due to him. Friends, if we truly wish to honor God, then we need to give some careful thought to how to go about doing this. Well, most obviously, we should spend time in worship to God, both privately and collectively with the Lord's church. Glorifying God is intrinsically linked to the worship of God. Give unto the Lord the glory due to his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, Psalm 29 and verse 2. Why would we claim to want to glorify God but refuse to worship him? But glorifying God cannot be limited to the actions of a worship service. Again, as the psalmist said, my mouth is filled with your praise. And the apostle reminded us our boasting if we are to boast, should be the boast about what God, through Christ, has done for us. Can we be said to glorify God if we refuse to speak to others about how great God is? Then too, Jesus taught his followers, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven, Matthew 5 and verse 16. Friends, we bring no glory to God if we claim to be his follower, but our lives do not, res do not reflect positively upon him. It's through our loving deeds that others may know that we are indeed true followers of Christ. Can we be said to be glorifying God if we're living selfish lives of sin? 
Well, obviously the answer is no. So let us be serious about glorifying God and think seriously about who our lives are actually bringing glory to. Let us glorify God in worship, in word, but most especially in deed, letting our light shine before his name. Friends, we thank you for joining us for our program today and have a blessed day.